Do you buy vinyl? Hey, it's Adam from Jawbreaker, the drummer. Hey, I'm Blake. I'm at Amoeba Records in Los Angeles, and this is what's in my bag. None of your business what's in my bag. <laughs> I'm going to start by reaching arbitrarily into this bag. It's Marcel Halif Caress on sale this month at $3.95. That's partly it was the price point that got me to get this one. Excellent. And it has a song called With All the Love, which I thought, how can you lose with a, with a track like that on there? Not some so of I'm not are. familiar with the record, but I know his work, and I think this is going to be a cool like painting and drawing record to put on. I got this Kendrick record for my uh, daughter as a present. She's uh, got a birthday coming up, so she gets this record. She's a fan, and so am I. I listened to, to Pimp a Butterfly as it was blaring out of her room with the door closed. Just blasting out of like a, a, a 70s era Marantz going through JBL speakers. She doesn't mess around. Right stroke, put little baby in a spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note. It's levels to it, you and I know. Bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Hold up, little, hold up. Nine Inch Nails, hesitation marks. Haven't heard the record, but I'm a big fan. As always, it looks great. It does look great. So um, I'm excited also to go home and do some one-handed push-ups to this. Industrial workout. Yeah. I'm excited though. I, I don't know this record, but I really love With Teeth, a kind of more recent one. And he always does really cool things with sound. Not for nothing, we just played with, with them, and it was insane. That's true. It's kind of lame. I'm wearing the shirt, and I'm buying the record. Here's the book I've been waiting to get. John Lou put this in my hands and said, read this, because you weren't there. But indeed, I was there. I'm very excited about it, because apparently everyone takes on a chapter, and and kind of writes from their perspective. Maybe it's like the Rashomon of, of LA punk. I haven't even cracked it. I didn't look at it, but um, I was a history major, so. I've been looking for this record for a long time. Ah, the best. Sinead O'Connor, Faith and Courage, and somehow I missed it. Right. I'm a big Universal Mother fan, and of course, like the first two records. And then you turned me on to... Jealous. Jealous, which is great. And there's another song on here that really blew my mind. What's the darkest title on there? Hold Back the Night, maybe? Maybe that's it. Well, I'll have to let you know, but... And also on sale. But we'd be paying top dollar for any Sinead. Do you wanna be, wanna be my dying day? My darkest this is embarrassing because the way I found out about Julian Baker was someone forwarded me um, a YouTube clip of her doing a Jawbreaker song from, I think, from Brussels. I was so impressed by her version of um, our song that I think I mail ordered. I might have like written her a fan mail or something, but I got this on vinyl right afterwards and this really blew me away. It's just guitar and vocals and just amazing songs. I'm a huge fan. Mike Check. Operation Doomsday. 
I love Doom because he's a, he's a he's a maniac with language. Dead planets and car jewels, throwing divine rules to come through. We will overcharge you. He always has so much wordplay going on and so much kind of associative language. I kind of know this record. I do know this record, but uh, I'm happy to have it on vinyl. It inspires my writing to be a little more dangerous, to court danger the way he does. Right after these last three shots from the black bat got me a headlock. Holding on to sanity by strands of that dreadlock. I was looking for the DOC, early Dre, DOC. From the D into the O and the O into the C. It's my all-time favorite hip-hop record, and uh, it's out of stock, probably because it's so good that it's just sold out right now. His story is incredible. Yeah, we but also like a, a maverick with the language. Knowledge and the talent that my mother had born, the heart equals an artist I won't be worn. What is that, Dre? It's the formula. This is another present for my other kid. I was a little bit overwhelmed because when you come to Amoeba, it's like going to Costco. If you don't have a list, you're fucked. I was just walking in circles out there, so I just called my kid and said, what do you need on vinyl? She said that she'd been looking for this clean anthology for three years and just couldn't find it anywhere. One of the clean lives in my neighborhood. For real? Which clean? Seamus. See him all the time at the coffee shop. Good guy? Great guy. We hang out. Oh, you do like a stop and chat thing? We both were up for the same job. Really? Once, and we kind of like... Who talk. got it? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but he still talks to me, which is nice. It's got to end here, right? I, I, I don't know this record, honestly. I love The Next Day. I really was into that album. And so this was a great opportunity to come to a We don't have a lot of record stores left in New York City. I knew this was we were going to do this, and I was kind of excited because I was like, I bet they'll have that record. Totally. By David Bowie. If I never see the English evergreens I'm running to, it's nothing to me. Uh, Just use my Keep best. all my good stuff, though. If we're only going to keep the good stuff. Well, then you're going to keep the whole fucking thing, man. <laughs> exactly. Because it's all good. I'm going to do one where I just talk shit, and it's going to be called Baggin'. I like that. I would watch Baggin'. Okay.